This is not a drill. This is an emergency broadcast. If you are receiving this broadcast, you may be in immediate danger. Please remain calm and listen closely to prevent further fatalities. This is a warning message from the SCP Foundation. An anomaly in your area has been detected. Repeat. An anomaly in your area has been detected. SCP-610, also known as the flesh that hates, is a highly contagious skin disease that initially manifests like an ordinary allergic reaction, with symptoms including increased sensitivity, itching and rashes. Be sure to turn yourself into authorities immediately. If you notice anyone around you, be they strangers or our family of friends, you must report them to the authorities. Infected individuals will be taken away and humanely euthanized. Remember, failure to comply could result in mass extinction. Repeat, failure to comply could result in mass extinction. If you experienced D any of the symptoms mentioned, it is already too late. The only thing left to do is sacrifice yourself for the good of humanity and potentially save the ones you love. Within only three hours of initial symptoms, the rashes will begin to turn into masses of scar tissue, which will spread all over the body. Victims will be consumed by thick rubbery flesh within just five hours. Remember if you experience any of the mentioned symptoms, please turn yourself in for immediate disintegration. If you notice anyone around you with the mentioned symptoms, please report them to authorities. Remember, you could be saving the future of the human race. Once the victim has been consumed by the flesh, all vital functions will cease. However, the victim will not stay dead. Instead, the victim's vitals will restart at a heightened rate, just three minutes after expiring. From here, the mass of flesh which has encased the body will begin to move on its own, multiplying and mutating into something no longer human. Specific mutations have been recorded to vary from case to case, including swelling on the head, the growth of extra limbs, and in some cases, the victim's body splitting apart and becoming rooted to the ground or any other surface. Once settled, it will be unable to move from that spot, but will continue to grow outwards, consuming everything within its reach, be it living or not. These stationary mutations are easy to avoid once spotted. Upon contact, however, death is inevitable. The best way to save yourself in this situation is to cut off the part of the body that has come in contact with the SCP. This must be done in seconds before the disease spreads. Mutations that maintain their mobility are highly aggressive and will pursue their victims mercilessly. They will attempt to infect any living thing that comes into their line of sight. This includes men, women and children, all pets, wild animals like birds and mice, and anything they can catch that they deem large enough to be worth the effort. It is recommended not to try to reason with it, as studies so far have shown that SCP-610 does not have higher brain function, though it has been shown to be capable of learning to a degree and can protect itself. It cannot comprehend empathy. They have been known to use tools as weapons, such a one subject who was recorded using a farming scythe to kill several operatives who were on an expedition to explore infected areas. None of these men return. None of these men return. We strongly advise civilians to avoid all contact with SCP-610 at all costs. Repeat. We strongly advise civilians to avoid all contact with SCP-610 at all costs. Due to the highly contagious nature of this disease, and the hostility of the mutations, this specimen can only be safely observed with drones and mounted cameras. Containment of this SCP is near enough impossible. The only hope of survival is to run. Maintain as great a distance as you can and call for help at the earliest opportunity. If no help is available, simply hide and wait. This is your only option. Gathering in large groups may help confuse SCP-610 as it struggles to select a target. Or the collective bodies emanating sweat and fear may increase aggression. Studies are still ongoing. 
All infected areas have been isolated with the permission of the government, with an official perimeter established around these areas. Any civilians found too close to these areas will be deemed a threat and shot on sight. Quarantine is recommended for anyone who has come within three meters of an infected organism. Any closer and they will be terminated and their remains destroyed by the relevant authorities, all while maintaining a safe distance. SCP-610 is a Keter-class entity, meaning it's an anomaly that's exceedingly difficult to contain consistently or reliably, with containment procedures often being extensive and complex. The infection sites remain active, though spread of SCP-610 currently seems to be focused on physical contact. All caution must be exercised at all times. There is no cure once infected. Repeat, there is no cure once infected. To summarize SCP-610 as a highly infection skin disease that turns the human body against itself, causing death and eventually reanimation, the infected victims achieving a zombie-like state and becoming disfigured and hostile as it tries to infect others. At this point your loved one is brain dead. It can first be recognized by symptoms such rashes, itching and increased sensitivity in the skin. If any of these symptoms are noticed, authorities must be informed immediately. Tips on how you can protect yourself. If you are in immediate danger, run as far away as you can from the threat then hide and wait for help. Authorities will do all they can to contain the situation and prevent the further spread of infected. Please remember, the SCP Foundation are the only people in the world who can help. Follow the advice in this video for the best chance of survival. And remember, logic clearly dictates that the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. We th thank you, thank you, you in advance for your sacrifice and thank you for your understanding and co 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 cooperate co cooperation in these difficult times end of message end of end of end of